so happy we get to do a video about back-to-back -back Leaf wins! I'm excited to do a Toronto-Nashville video where we don't have to rebuild your room! Showtime! Back-to-back fist pumps! Back-to-back fist pumps! Leafs win! Two to one in the shootout over the Nashville Predators! Put up wins going back-to-back! in their last six games and they were 0.8 seconds away from it being three straight wins over the Dallas Stars, Washington Capitals, and Nashville Predators. That's a rough road trip. Oh yeah, by the way, it was on the road. Oh, this is so great. This is, I am in the best mood I've been in all season, I think. This is like the Nashville video from last year, except instead of it being 9-2, take away eight goals from Nashville. I don't think this video is gonna get over 100,000 views because I'm actually happy. Go ahead and take pleasure in my pain. I'll take pleasure in these two points. I'm just so happy with this team, with, with this game top to bottom. Okay, one criticism, one. At the end of the first period, do I mention Paul? I, I, I feel so bad picking on him, but geez. Give Frankie Corrado a game. Just try it. Anyway, okay, it, mm, enough of the criticism. Everyone was doing their part in this one. James Reimer, again, mwah, gets to do the glove kiss, only allowing the one goal, and it's from Shea Weber, and that's a scary shot. I'm scared of him. I was actually at the game at the 2010 Olympics against Germany where he shot the puck and it went through the net. And it was hilarious because in 2010, not everyone had Twitter still, so we had to look around the stands for someone who had it. Not like today where everyone can just go, Phoomph. oh, it went through the net. We had like a town crier, hear ye, hear ye, it went through the net. That's a scary shot. He scores in a 700th NHL game. Of course he did. Of course it was against the Leafs. Oh my God, they're going to lose. No, they're not. Tiny Bozeman. Can we? No, 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 no. Sean Mathias throws it in front and gives it to Bose Lightyear. To infinity and into the back of your net. That's right. Bose Lightyear put it past your giant Nashville. Seriously, like him and Ben Bishop are the number one reasons for wanting goaltending equipment to be smaller or the nets bigger. Like, oh, okay. Almost everyone's on the team bus. We got Mike Fisher, Shea Weber. Hey, has anyone seen Pekka? <laughs> Oh, there's Pekka. Okay, man, hurry on to the bus. We'll give you a raw steak. But Bozak, he's basically been demoted, but in 12 games, he's got two goals, five assists, seven points. I hate to say it because I think Nazem Kadri has been excellent. I think he's been the team's number one center, but he's been absolutely snake bitten. Tyler Bozak has more points than Nazem Kadri. His possession numbers are up. He's producing. He's doing it on a lower line, and he's doing it without Phil Kessel. Tyler Bozak is proving a lot of people, myself included, wrong. Full marks. Full, excellent marks. Good for you. Another guy that we basically have run out of town already, Joffrey Lupo was everywhere in this game and just didn't get rewarded for it. And it's not going unnoticed. A number of you tweeted it at me too. So the Leafs luckily survive overtime after that horrendous penalty against Michael Grabner. You're not even allowed to do a stick lift anymore. Holy smokes. Goes to the shootout. Now I know Reimer is actually pretty good in the shootout, but the Preds tried way too hard to get fancy and just deke themselves into oblivion too many times. A few of the Leafs made the same mistake of trying to deke it in on Arena because you're just deking it into a wall. He takes up 85% of the net to shoot it. And in comes Pistol B.D. Hallman. And it did not go unnoticed by the Twitter, as noted by my mentions. Pistol B.D. Hallman responding to the healthy scratch by scoring in one game and getting the shootout winner in another. And here's where this isn't good for my ticker. This isn't good. I'm starting to, I'm starting to get connected with this team. It was so easy to stay disconnected. I know they were going to be brutal. I, I barely knew any of the players and I certainly wasn't going to get to know any of their names, but I, I think I'm falling for you again, Leafs. You have my heart, but I don't think I can handle it if you broke it again. But right now they're looking pretty good. Let's leave it at that. Happiness and positivity. Hmm. Such a nice change. So that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really like to tell all your friends sports and the highlights down below. Brand new Panago Pizza Steve Dangle podcast. And this one, it, this one contains a vintage rant from me and it lasts about 20 minutes. You'll see it. It's towards the end. A bunch of videos from the Hockey Hall of Fame and Red Carpet. I've been doing so much lately. Check that all out on the Steve Dangle blog on sportsnet.ca. And I'll see you next time. When they go for... Th